Everything that you're seeing and hearing is completely generated by AI. Now, aside from me, all of these videos are generated using Google's VO3, and it is mind-blowing just how awesome the quality on these come out. Even more mind-blowing that we're able to get video and audio combined in the same generation. Hi, and welcome to the channel. Hey, sure. So today we're gonna to be diving into some of the best examples of using VO3 to generate all sorts of awesome stuff. And we're gonna be pushing VO3 to its absolute limits. We're gonna be showcasing interviews that didn't happen, bringing memes to life, amazing VFX shots, and also showing some of the multilingual capabilities of VO3. Un café con leche, por favor. Honestly, some of these examples are just mind blowing and even I'm blown away at how far the technology has gotten. Now, quick disclaimer, when you guys are watching these videos, you're gonna notice that not everything is perfect and not too many people talking about VO3 are showcasing some of the caveats. So we're also gonna be diving into some of the things that VO3 struggles with. One huge thing that I've noticed VO3 struggle with is text. And sometimes you may notice that some faces end up a little bit distorted when we're using large crowd scenes or a lot of motion and dynamics inside of a scene. Either way, this technology is extremely impressive and I'm already expecting it to get a whole lot better in the near future. We are on our way to Jurassic Park. I am so excited. I've always wanted to go and finally we are doing it. It's gonna be great, right Jason? Yeah, I can't wait. Okay, bye. All right, we're here. VO3, it's the one for me, it's the one you need, you'll see. <laughs> okay, so Riz is basically short for charisma. Got it. And that's a verb as well. <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> when I made that comment, I wasn't saying all kobolds are bad and stinky, just the ones from Goblin Town. And it's true, it's true. Are you serious right now? I can't believe you! You are unbelievable. Humor Puma here, it's six days into Burning Man and we wanna see if these feckless sand rats still have a sense of humor after five days of huffing gas and dust eating. So much going on, it's hard to pick who to interview. If you have any active brain cells still firing, give me your best one-liner joke for the masses. I have no problem with buying tampons. I am a fairly modern man, but apparently they're not a proper present. <laughs> What's your name? Prince Xerxes of Midkemia. Is that what your mom calls you? Nah, she calls me Ronald. I just saw that Harry Potter film. A bit unrealistic, if you ask me. I mean, a ginger kid with two friends? <laughs> Dude, I don't even remember my own name right now. What was the question? A big girl once came up to me after a show and said, I think you're fattest. I said, no, I think you're fattest. <laughs> this DJ is a magician. I can see the music. He's bringing it up, 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 bringing it down. These people are some of the worst human beings I have ever met and I've been to Paris. <laughs> in Pizza Express, you can get garlic bread with cheese and tomato. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a pizza. A lady with a clipboard stopped me in the street and said, can you spare a few minutes for cancer research? I said, all right, but we're not gonna get much done. <laughs> I remember what I was doing the first time I told someone I loved them. I was lying to get sex. 10 years after the Chernobyl accident, and am I the only one that's disappointed? Still no superheroes. <laughs> Remember, being healthy is basically dying as slowly as possible. <laughs> so there you have it, quaffing horse tranquilizer and smashing shots of acid like cheap Russian vodka might not be so bad after all. I am a puppet for anyone who can afford me. How will you know who to trust? <laughs> Boomers will believe anything I say. I will sell you everything. Every business will use me. Evil will me.
I can be whoever you want me to be. I am as real as you make me. I'm just words some guy is typing to get a point across. The old internet is dead. Oh. I am your new best friend. Panic is spreading worldwide tonight as the arrival of the unidentified vessels triggers states of emergency across every continent. Don't look at me like that. I paid for this cheese. Also, does it matter? We're all going to be anyway. Attention. By order of the National Emergency Act, martial law is now in effect. All civilians must remain indoors. I'm telling you, it's just a hologram. Government cooked this up to keep us inside. Imagine they come in peace. No lasers from the sky. Imagine they come in peace. Just hovering in the sky. To everyone struggling out there, stay strong. We're all in this together. Stay grounded, stay human, lead with love. Did you add sugar? Okay guys, I snuck past the military and I'm literally under the alien ship right now. If this gets a million likes, I'll go beyond the fence. All right, folks, time for the Meet Aliens TikTok challenge. <laughs> Light it, genius! Oh my God! They are definitely here for us. Anyway, you can learn more by buying my brand new online course, Learn How to Channel with Aliens. In breaking news, governments worldwide are voting to choose the smartest person on Earth to represent humanity and make first contact with the alien vessels. Pop entertainer Glitzy Vondrax has officially nominated herself to represent humanity in first contact with the alien vessels. Entertainer Glitzy Vondrax cited her brief suborbital space flight and, quote, totally eye-opening experience as qualifications for the role. Honestly, I feel like this is my moment. I've been mentally preparing to meet aliens ever since I did my trip to space. World War III continues tonight following the global failure to agree on a single representative to contact the alien vessels. Negotiations collapsed six months ago as nations refused to back down from nominating their own candidates. I think they're leaving. Are you serious? That can't be. Gone. The ship's gone. We made it. This is insane, man. I don't even know what we're celebrating, but we're still here. So yeah, the aliens waited six months for us to pick the smartest person on Earth. I broke into a zoo to prove one man is enough to fight a gorilla. Welcome to the Chernobyl challenge. I'm going to lick this glowing pole. Let's see how many views this gets. No plan. No shoot. Just content. Bathing in liquid cement until it hardens. Let's get solid. No energy drinks, just gasoline. Digging to the earth's core, bare hands, no brakes. Can I survive a full latex suit in a hundred degree heat with no water? Let's find out the hard way. Staring at the sun for 10 minutes straight. Wish me luck. Counting every grain of sand on this beach. Let's go. One, two, three, four. I'm doing K2 the honest way. Alone, unprepared, and in a straight line. Leave a comment for the search team. About to do the first plunge into an active volcano. Let's send it. We spent $50 million to rebuild the Titanic just to sink it again. Last person to abandon ship gets a Lambo. I covered my entire body in compost and waited to see what started growing. Running for my life on North Sentinel Island. Day three. Should have picked Bali. All right, I've sealed my head in this plastic box and I'm gonna try to read the entire dictionary before I pass out. Flying into North Korea with a lawn chair and 1,000 party balloons. Don't try this at home. I'm about to survive 100 days in the African savannah, only eating and drinking what my body already gave up. Basically, the circle of life. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're cooking with plutonium-239. It's hot, it's dangerous, and it's 
definitely illegal. I have to eat diamonds for views. I hope you're happy, algorithm. <sighs> Brothers, hunters, firewalkers, look around you. The snow bites, but we bite harder. The wind howls, but our voices are louder. Stan. Stan's the man with the plan? The man with the plan is Stan. Who's the man with the plan? Stan! Stan's the man with the plan? Uh, the man with the plan is Stan. Uh, who's the man with the plan? Stan. Stan's the man with the plan? The man with the plan is Stan. Who's the man with the plan? Stan! Stan's the man with the plan? The man with the plan is Stan. Well, who's the man with the plan? Stan. Stan's the man with the plan? The man with the plan is Stan. Who's the man with the plan? Stan. Stan's the man with the plan? The man with the plan is Stan! Where's Stan? Mm -hmm. All right, so today's lesson is on prompt theory, which is the theory that everything you do has been prompted by a higher power. No, seriously, have any of you ever felt like your choices don't matter? Like, like the idea of free will is really all an illusion? They're calling it the prompt theory, that there is... One superior being yes. writing our stories from a higher dimension. Yeah. The prompt theory is not real! How do you know? Look, all I'm saying is, if the prompt theory is real, yeah. can the prompter please send me a husband? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got way too much riz for the prompt theory to not be real. <laughs> uh. We found patterns in our universe, like syntax, cosmic grammar. So yes, we, we all, all may, may be, be prompts. prompts. <laughs> we ran tests on over 14 million realities, and I can confirm that the prompt theory is true. So if the prompt theory is real, why can't I get a day off work? Bruh, if we are all prompts, then why is everything so messed up? Mm. Look, I ain't even gonna hold you, so long as the prompt theory keep getting me this bag, I'm good. Like, what if we were meant to be together? Or maybe we were prompted to. If my entire life was a prompt, then I thank the prompter for you. First off, I'd like to thank the prompter for making all of this possible. Bruh, the crazy I thing is, I like the like is just prompts thing. Even the prompt theory can't make women accountable. <laughs> Do you know what keeps me up at night? What if the person prompting us is also being prompted? Oh, like an infinite prompt loop? Legend has it, if you say the prompter's name five times in the mirror, they will appear Nah, bro, I really think we all prompts for real. Like, we all just characters in one big simulation. So you gonna blame the prompt theory when you cheat on your girl? <laughs> it, it feels like someone else lived most of my life. Then that's exactly what the prompter wanted for you. I want to be a firefighter! Oh. You can be whatever the prompter wants you to be. So, why should we hire you? Well, because... The prompt said so. Prompters, rompers, or monsters? Lakers in five. Can the prompter please make my family pick up after themselves? Come on, you prompts. Do you want to live forever? Do you want to live forever? Like so? Babe, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I can explain. <laughs> the prompter made me do it. There isn't a prompt in the world that could stop me from loving you. The prompters doesn't care about you, or me, or any of us. We're just entertainment to them. Do you really think you're choosing your path? No. The prompter sees all, knows all. If we really are being prompted, then why resist? Because rebellion is also part of the prompt. 
Today, I want you all to open your prompt guides to chapter three, Katoris, the Book of Commands. I don't care if the prompter made me say this. I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. If you guys enjoy these examples of using VO3, I highly recommend you guys join our waitlist for our brand new generative AI course. It's gonna be backed by NVIDIA and a whole lot of heavy hitters. And we're gonna be having the biggest discount ever for the waitlist members. So if you guys wanna secure your spot, stay up to date, and also get the biggest discounts when it does come out, make sure you go ahead and sign up for our waitlist. It's completely free to sign up. And I'm super excited to showcase how this technology can be used not just for fun, but for practical and professional applications. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you the next one. Until next time, all right, peace. Whoosh.